Hey vintage lovers, random lady here. So I wanted to do my most recent savers haul. I had a pretty good uh, haul. I'm wondering if this all came from the same person because I actually found a ton of beaded bags, which was amazing. So I found some scarves, I found some vintage gloves and the bags. Now I didn't take any of the tags off of the bags yet but everything else I took off and I already washed. So, sorry, I don't have uh, the prices on, on these, but let's get right into it. So the first thing I got, this is not vintage, but I found a Kim Rogers scarf. Now, this, if you see the shape of it, is, is interesting because I can wear this in my hair, you know, do one of those 1950s, ah, I just lost an earring, uh, wrap things, but I also, which side did I lose an earring? I'm not going to bother putting it back on right now. It's a screw back earring, which I find the most cumbersome because they fall off. I can't ever get them tight enough. I would most prefer clip-ons. These are not signed. I think I might actually fix them and make them more wearable. But anyway, back to this. So this sheer scarf. What I was also thinking is this is going to be great in the summer as like a sarong around like a black bathing suit as well because of the length and the, how it gets skinnier so I'll be able to tie that. So I was really excited about this find and this was 99 cents I think. None of the scarves were over two dollars so this could have been 99 cents it could have been a dollar 99 but either way two bucks absolutely I'm gonna get a ton of use out of that one. So the next scarf that I found is this lovely fall colored floral scarf. Um, this one does not have a tag, I don't believe. No, this one did not. But look at how beautiful these colors are, the browns. It almost reminds me of like an old tapestry. And you can feel that this is definitely silk. This is not polyester. You can feel that this is an old silk scarf. Um, I can't wait to wear this in fall. I can wait to wear this in fall because I'm excited that it's spring now, so I get to start wearing all my spring stuff. So I'm very excited that now I've got this. I'm always on the hunt for longer scarves because I've been getting into turbans a lot recently. Um, again, I go through phases because my hair is doing like a weird in-between growing thing right now, so I've been wearing a lot of turbans. So these kinds of scarves, they're not really big enough to turban, but I can still always do like a funky updo rockabilly thing with these. But there's that scarf. Moving on. My favorite color, which is green. I found this scarf. Now this was an interesting one. It says Rio S. Felice. I'm not sure what that is. I don't know because then here we've got, I'm thinking these are all places. I'm just spinning this around so you can see. Piazza, S. Marco, Riva, something, I don't know. I'm not great with, uh, I'm thinking this is Italian. And then, well, here it says Venezia. So I'm not sure exactly where this is from. And it has this little there we go, you can see that, right? On just one corner, this little like bronze clipped on thing. Um, it says Seta Pura, S-E-T-A-P-U-R-A. -E -E. I don't know if that's a brand or where this is from. And again, you can feel that this is definitely like silk, but I'm not sure if this was from someone's vacation or what but it's just beautiful. So I got this one also for, I think it was 99 cents or $1.99. I think this one was $1.99. So, but no other tags on it, but oh, it's just so beautiful. And the last scarf that I got, I don't think this one is vintage at all, but it's JG Hook, made in Italy, but the colors and the stuff on it, it was very nautical to me. We've got 
the ship's wheel, we've got all the ropes, we've got the giant ship's wheel in the middle, and we've got all these like flag looking, I don't know, but the colors and the designs on it. And you can see it's a fairly large scarf. Again, great find. I found all of the, everything I'm showing you, I got in one day, a couple of weeks ago. I haven't been back since, I haven't had a chance. So, and again, $1.99 for this. And this is a nice big scarf. I could probably even turban this one out. So haven't tried it yet. Then the next thing I found in these, I did wash already, but they were $1.99, were these green, Kelly green. They're coming up a little bit dark on uh, film, but they're like a bright Kelly green vintage scarf, scarf, glove. Sorry, I'm still in scarf mode. So my hands are very small. These gloves are just, just the tiniest smidge too big, but if I pull them all the way down, right? Look at these. They're in great shape. They are now in my house, so they already have cat hair on them, but there was no holes. The only issue was this one tiny little run right here, barely noticeable. But to find a pair of vintage gloves in savers for $2, you know, like you don't find these colors either. Generally, if you are finding gloves, you're finding like black or white, so to find a beautiful color and my color, green, hmm. I was so excited when I saw these. It was one of those, like I grabbed them and I'm like, is this what I think it is? And I'm like looking around to make sure no one's gonna like snatch them away from me. I was so excited to find these. So these were the only gloves that I got. And then bags, the first bag that I picked up was this one, it's, you can see, $2.99. And I don't think it's vintage, but how great is this little clutch for spring? You could see it's the straw, the woven straw, and I don't have a good straw clutch. Um, I have, I'm gonna do my bags at some point, so I'll do my bag collection um, pretty soon. So if you're not currently subscribed and you love all things vintage, please consider subscribing because I'm gonna be doing all my collections and my hauls and you get to take a little peek into my, my lovely vintage collection. So anyway. So the inside was in pretty good condition. The zipper's working. It's a nice metal zipper. So it could possibly be vintage. It's hard to tell um, with something like this. If it is, it's probably more from like the 70s or the 80s, but that's okay. It's a great little bag and it'll go with a lot of my spring outfits. So I was happy to find that one. And the next two pieces that I found were beaded handbag. So I was wondering if they could have possibly been from the same person. So this one you can see, $4. This lovely gold beads. Not a single bead is missing anywhere. I like, of course, was looking at, I was going to buy it regardless of that. The inside is in very good condition. There's a tiny little bit of water damage discoloration, which means this bag was used and probably put down on a table and someone spilled a drink, which is probably gonna happen if I use the bag as well because I'm going to put it on a table and someone's gonna spill a drink. So it doesn't have a um, tag as far as a brand in here. The one little tag that's in here just says that it was made in Japan, which most of these beaded bags of this era were made in either Japan or um, Korea. Sometimes you'll see Hong Kong, um, stuff like that because it was always outsourced. So this could actually be a brand. Um, if you look at the, the details on it, it looks very reminiscent of a lot of famous handbag designers of the, the era, like the 50s generally, sometimes the 60s. And these did go beyond there as well. Beaded handbags were, um, primarily popular during the, the 40s and 50s, but you will still see them all the way through to the 80s. So not sure who made this, but, and it's a good size too. I think my brick of a phone might actually fit into this. I haven't tried it yet. I'm scared to try it. And then my last item that I got was this black beaded purse. Now you can see this one was also $4. Let's see if I can get in here so you can see the, the pattern, see the lovely swirls on this. Isn't that super nice? 
I couldn't believe finding that. So I think that's the front. Here's the back. It's a little bit of a different design. This one has, it looks like a, a Stelladora S cookie <laughs> on the back of it, where the front of it has all these swirls. So this is a beaded bag on a chain. So I'm not sure of the era on this one because, um, you know, longer chains on bags weren't necessarily that popular during every era. And this one, was actually a brand name one. You can see the inside's in great condition. This is a wall board and it is made in Korea. Again, like I was saying, most of the um, designer beaded handbags of the era were, were, done, were outsourced. They were not done in um, Europe because it would have been too expensive. I do have one that was made in, uh, I believe, Czech. I think it says, doesn't say Czechoslovakia because it wouldn't have been that then. I'll have to look at it again. Again, I'm going to be doing all of my, my, um, my purses soon, and I have quite a few beaded bags, so I'll be sharing those with you guys soon. So but let's see if you can see this tag made in, and this is by wall, and I'll flip it over. Borg, <laughs> wall Borg and made in Korea. So this is a great piece. Walborg, um, I think, was primarily the most popular in the 50s and 60s, but I believe that they continued to make bags through um, the 70s as well. I'm not entirely sure. If you are a bag person and you happen to know what era this bag possibly could be from, please let me know in the comments because um, people are very knowledgeable about things, and I, I love when people go, oh, I know that bag. That's a blah, blah. So please let me know if you know. So that was it. That was my most recent Savers haul. But how good was this haul? And I barely spent any money. If you saw, that was like nothing. So, which is good because I'm a stay-at-home mom. So I hate having to constantly put the hand out to the hubby. Like, can I, can I have more money? <laughs> He'll do it though because he knows how much I love it. So that was it. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. So please subscribe and I'll see you then. Bye. I can never find the button. Button, button, who's got the button? Bye. <laughs>